this event, this um, get together of, uh, I would say, uh, kind of all faith uh, coming under <coughs> one roof and uh, celebrating and uh, 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 observing uh, uh, all the, the way we fast and kind of uh, cooperative uh, atmosphere that we have here. It is a wonderful, um, a very uh, wonderful um, uh, exercise that the Santa Mosque does every year. And I must appreciate uh, that uh, this, uh, this gesture of the Central Mosque and uh, the reciprocity that we see from our uh, uh, brothers from other faiths is, is fantastic. It is wonderful. And I was just wondering when I was coming here uh, on the way that uh, while we do have this uh, uh, kind of multi-faith get-together during Ramadan, I think uh, there shouldn't be any harm if we have this kind of multi-faith uh, get together on, on Eid as well. If the Central Mosque uh, considers this as a proposal from my side, that maybe we can have this uh, multi faith get together to celebrate Eid, uh, Eid together, uh, maybe this time around or maybe uh, some other time whenever you feel appropriate. I think that uh, my, my view is that uh, it, 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 uh, it is going to add to uh, the multi faith harmony and uh, multi cultural uh, conflict that we have. Uh, I won't take much time. I will just uh, kind of uh, say thank you again to the Central Mosque for organizing such a wonderful event. And uh, I wish them uh, all. And Allah invites whom He loves to His house. Any house that Allah has created for us is a blessing for all of us. When we talk about Joe Cox, who are at her memorial yesterday as a human being, she stood for everyone in this room and everyone outside the room. And what Council Abdul did is not something new. It's what the Prophet exactly did when he was watching a dead body of a funeral of a Jew passing by stone, by stone in Taif and found nobody to support him. He went to one of the non Muslims inside Mecca, Mut'am ibn Adi. And they told me, can you give your juar, I mean, to protect me when I come back? I said, yes, of course, I will do that to Muhammad. And he, took, he came out with his sons, 11 sons, with the army, and said, that opinion on these people of him, actually, what to do, how to do. This is how the Prophet remember the non Muslims who get a great favor to the Muslim at the very difficult time kind of a greater community to be built by all of us. And it's, it's a great thing to have this kind of meeting in Ramadan. God bless you, <coughs> after, and God bless every one of you, and God bless you as well. Take another selfie together. Survive <laughs> market. Thank you, Indians, a few times now. I feel as if I have friends here and um, our traditions, our Muslim religions, especially to the stranger. And at these times, we see full of tension, and in a sense, it's a momentous day in, 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 in our country today, and so many people want to cause divisions. Coming together is very special, overcoming our preconceptions and our prejudices realizing what we have in common and I really thank you for inviting me. Thank you. It's been worked for. The food has to be provided. People have to work for us. We don't necessarily think about who's doing it for us. The God that works for us does that all the time. I was pointing out to a young man just a few minutes ago that he had some lung and kidneys. Had he thought about those today? about miracles of God but all this has happened as part of our existence we live in this kind of extraordinary world but it means they have to be accountable and responsible if we're going to be a united body of human beings together we've got to work for it and what's happening at the moment about trying to destroy Europe I think is in a sense against that from my point of view because it's in principle not saying we should be together and Christian, Muslim, whoever we are from a different background, it's about being together. We won't always like each other, we will often disagree, but so what? That happens in my family in any case. And I didn't marry somebody like me, because she's a woman anyway. 
<laughs> We've known each other for many, many, many years. When you first asked me to, to join in with the Muslim community, I really thank you for that, Colonel. But it's about saying we have to work together. And Central Mosque is a shiny example of that, not just for people of different faith, but other human beings with whom we have to work because they're all, we're all people of God. Thank you. Equipment's going to work all right. Um, I want to, I want to uh, start by thanking the Central Mosque. I've been fasting uh, today because I received a very generous present of a cake uh, today and we were fasting for Syria so I have joined you in the fast uh, uh, today and I can only say that I think putting this delicious food which smells so gorgeous out in front of us towards the end of the uh, fasting period is a form of torture uh, and uh, it smells so delicious but I suppose one of the advantages for someone who is not a Muslim for fasting like this is that you get a really keen appreciation of the deliciousness of the food that <laughs> awaits us uh, shortly. Um, I want to thank the chairman very much for his minute of silence for my friend and colleague, Joe Cox. Uh, and I know that uh, in Birmingham too, there was uh, last Friday night a vigil and that matters.